Anesthesia is a drug-induced temporary loss of awareness and sensation used for medical purposes. Under anesthesia, consciousness is controlled so that a patient cannot move, feel pain, or remember the experience. Just like in humans, pet anesthesia is used during surgeries and invasive medical procedures. However, many non-invasive procedures cannot be performed accurately while pets are awake. Any procedure that requires a pet to stay perfectly still for a significant period of time requires anesthesia. Anesthesia is routinely used for procedures other than surgery, such as MRI to visualize the brain and spinal cord. It is necessary to keep the patient still in order for us to obtain various high quality images while performing advanced imaging diagnostics. Like any medical procedure, anesthesia carries risks. However, deaths related to anesthesia are very unusual. As research and technology have developed, pet anesthesia has become much safer than it was several years ago. When it comes to safety, the veterinary staff's knowledge and training combined with how the patient is monitored are what make the difference. As a modern veterinary hospital, Southeast Veterinary Neurology works with the most up-to-date and sophisticated guidelines, drugs, and monitoring systems available in order to minimize risk. Our highly trained team reduces that risk even further. Safe anesthesia relies on knowledgeable drug choices and the precise monitoring and support of patients before, during, and after the procedure. At seven, anesthetic protocols not only depend on the type of procedure being done, but are also tailored to the patient. The patient's age, breed, size, history, and health status are all key factors in selection of anesthetic protocol. Many complications of anesthesia can be anticipated and prepared for. The main reason why the risk of death from anesthesia is low is that veterinarians thoroughly screen patients for potential risks beforehand. At seven, prior to undergoing anesthesia, the neurologist will review your pet's medical history, perform both physical and neurological exams, obtain blood work, and take chest x-rays to ensure your pet is healthy enough to tolerate the anesthetic procedure. After careful consideration, the neurologist will choose an anesthetic protocol and determine if any specific interventions might reduce the risk for your pet. Seven's anesthetic protocol begins with an IV catheter placement through which pre-medications are administered to ease any anxiety, pain, or discomfort that your pet may experience. Following the induction process, your pet is provided with general anesthesia in the form of a gas inhalant that is absorbed through the respiratory system. Anesthesia is only administered by highly trained veterinary technicians from the Sevens Imaging and Surgery team under the supervision of a doctor on the case. The most common complications of anesthesia include low blood pressure, decreased heart and respiratory rates, and low body temperature. At seven, precautions include immediate access to the respiratory and cardiovascular systems, along with multi-parameter monitors to ensure that the patient's vitals remain within normal limits. During anesthesia, Seven's multi-parameter monitors keep track of oxygenation levels, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature, levels of exhaled carbon dioxide, electrocardiogram waves, and blood pressure. However, the most valuable monitor during anesthesia is a specially trained veterinary technician. While a seven technician is monitoring your pet during anesthesia, that is their one and only responsibility. This technician is solely focused on patient monitoring to ensure that your pet remains stable throughout the procedure.
The American Animal Hospital Association reports that almost half of anesthetic-related deaths occurred during the first few hours of the post-procedure period. Therefore, it is critical that patients recovering from anesthesia are also monitored by trained personnel. At 7, your pet is transferred to the intensive care unit to recover after anesthetic procedures. Our skilled ICU team of experts keeps patients warm, comfortable, and under close observation until they return to normal consciousness. During this time, a dedicated veterinary technician is continuously monitoring the same vital signs that are monitored while under anesthesia until the pet is fully recovered. Many of the dogs we treat are brachycephalic, such as French Bulldogs, Pugs, English Bulldogs, Boston Terriers, Shih Tzus, and more. Brachycephalic dogs are bred to have a relatively broad, short skull, resulting in the flattened face appearance many pet parents can't get enough of. The anatomy of their shortened noses can result in difficulty breathing. In preparation of anesthesia, brachycephalic breeds are given supplemental flow by oxygen longer than other breeds we typically work with. While recovering from anesthesia in the ICU, they will continue to be provided with 100% oxygen until they become more alert. Even though the vast majority of patients do absolutely fine with anesthesia, it's perfectly understandable for you to be concerned. After all, low risk does not mean no risk. If you're worried, speak openly with your veterinarian about how anesthesia can affect your pet, what safety protocols are in place, and how your pet will be monitored and cared for. A veterinarian would never recommend something that is going to hurt your pet. Southeast Veterinary Neurology is the largest veterinary neurology practice that exclusively treats neurological conditions and performs advanced imaging studies and complex procedures on a daily basis. Therefore, our team of experts is highly knowledgeable, well-trained, and thoroughly experienced in anesthesia.